Hey everybody, welcome back to a week of the Binding of Isaac Community Remix. We're back with Isaac because we're going to be using the D20 for everything. Sorry, D6 for everything. Oh my god, I have the volume up way too loud. Just give me a moment. Thank you for dying. I looked up the items that we uh, got on the last episode. So what did we get? We got sulfur. Sulfur was... It, I was indeed correct about it. It gives you brimstone effect uh, for the current room. And it works on a three room charge, which is actually really effective. Like, really, really good in the early game. If you don't get brimstone, hey, maybe you get sulfur. Man, seriously, unicorn horn, like, every fucking time. Okay, I walked into the fire there. In my defense, I didn't walk into the other fire when I was at the same horizontal levels. It weirded me out a little bit. Anyway, we're fine, we're fine. Just relax here. Um, despite that being possibly, like, the worst damage I've taken in my entire Binding of Isaac career. We're fine, don't worry about it. The other one we got was soap. Soap is a... Fire rate upgrade, as well as a shot speed upgrade. So, you know, I like the item design. Don't necessarily love what it does for me, but hey, if I'm taking HP plus shot speed upgrades, I should probably be okay taking tiers plus shot speed upgrades as well. Tiers upgrades and HP upgrades, they're um, not always equivalent, but situationally, uh, you know, th there are situations where one's demonstrably better than the other one. They're both the most useful upgrades in Isaac, I think, though. The most useful common upgrades, at least. Damage upgrades, very useful to show up a little bit more rarely. So at least we did get to experience some new items on that last run. I'm hoping for some of the more, uh, shall we say, bombastic ones here. Every time I say bombastic, I can't help but uh, think about Shaggy. You, you remember the Jamaican reggae artist slash rapper he did Wasn't Me. And someone wisely, very astutely pointed out that my alien impression, which goes a little like this, uh, used, uh, used that a lot in FTL, for example. Man, I should have saved my bomb. Um, can actually pretty easily be morphed into a Shaggy impression. Shaggy's got a little of this going on, but it's just lower. It's, that's not a very good one. I'm still working on it. Uh, I had a good Michael Caine impression going for a while. I, I can only have one impression stored in my brain at any given time, so I'm thinking of going with Shaggy. But I looked up the lyrics to Wasn't Me. It's just absolute nonsense. Like, I don't even think Shaggy knows what Shaggy's saying during that song. Just said it wasn't you. And it's getting there. You gotta give it some time. Uh, so we rerolled Lemon Mishap into less than three. I'm happy with the, the exchange. It's not a new item, but we're not going to get so many rerolls on this floor anyway. Seems like an okay uh, decision for us to make. Now, we're fine here. Typically, how have I generated new items in uh, Community Remix? Well, I've taken standard good items as much as I possibly could, lived long enough to just abuse the shit out of Nun's Habit plus uh, D6. And it's, it's managed to work out for us. What's this pill? Tears upgrade. That's fantastic. Uh, I will say, I think the song's a little loud here relative to the uh, the sound effects. I could barely hear, like, the 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 tear sa or the sound of the pill. You know, like a bird. That's the one. Nailed it. Um, so it is possible that we could get a secret room on this floor. We have four bombs, but despite it being possible, I don't think it's too likely. I'm just gonna see if maybe the boss room's over here. The first floor is usually a clusterfuck when it comes to finding the secret room, and Curses of Labyrinth are obviously uh, disastrous for that sometimes as well. So what I wanted to check was over here, we could, you know, get ready to use rerolls on the boss room, maybe a devil room if we get lucky. I've restarted uh, Spider Mod, which, you know, Community re Remix kind of uh, fits over. Uh, so it should, uh, it should give us maybe some new generation, although we did totally just get uh, Unicorn Horn for like the 56,000th time. Anyway, I think it would be sweet if in Community Remix, and I'm not trying to give the developers more work, just as a suggestion, I think it would be sweet if there was a character who started with like base stats that were better than Isaac's. Such bad damage. But then, uh, like a little better than Isaac's, not like, you know, double the starting HP or anything like that. Um, but then instead of starting with the uh, D6, he starts with the D12, and you could reroll bosses. But I'm trying to think of, like, if you can't reroll the late game bosses, when is D12 actually useful? I guess it's useful when you get, like, a... Uh, I'll take Sweezy. I guess it's useful if you end up going up against, like, Mask of Infamy or something like that. Or, like, a really... Uh, you know what would be a good situation? Maybe you go up against Headless Horseman, but you already have the ability to fly, or just otherwise don't want the pony. That could be useful. Um, but apart from that, it would be, like, Mask of Infamy shows up, and you reroll, and then you're like, okay, you know peep that's better or bloat that's probably still slightly better all right so if I don't take damage here I should have a small chance of getting a deal with the devil I think did take a little red heart damage on this floor it's not abnormal for the seller uh, XL and 
we should be done with this very, very shortly. That'll do it. Deal with the devil. Pageant boy I may take, just because it's early enough to be useful. And we'll be re-rolling this instead. Luckfoot and Guppy's head. I really like Luckfoot. So this will exclusively give us good pills. So we shouldn't have shot speed upgrades either. That is not quite enough money to make the shop worthwhile on this floor, which is always disappointing. But it's okay, we should be able to figure it out. Now, do we want to go item room or do we want to go shop? That'll depend on the uh, the resources that we get here. And we may look for a secret room now, because, as you might expect, finding... Uh, man, so many golden chests for a non-Guppy's Tail situation, but... Um, as you might expect, I would prefer to go to the shop. It's more likely to be good. Get something like the Nun's Habit 9 Volt allows us to reroll so many more things over the course of the entire game. Versus picking up, you know, a Tears upgrade, which is great, don't get me wrong. But at the same time... Uh, not necessarily that useful. Yeah. Hmm. There's a couple of different ways we could swing this, but they're they're all risky. Let's just hope we get one penny in this room, and that'll uh, that'll sort it out for us. So what are my options? Well, one thing we could do is open up a golden chest instead of opening up the shop or the item room. Why don't I like this idea? Well, there's a chance it just has nothing of value inside of it. I'm not going to go through the, the number of different, you know, golden chests without value we could get, but suffice to say there are several. Um... We could get uh, a key and a lot of money, enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Like a key and a penny would do it for us, wouldn't it? We could open the item room. We could open the shop and then buy a key and then open the item room. Or we could open the shop, buy a key, and then open the golden chest. Uh, but I don't know. I think first things first, we're just going to look for the secret room. Is it Going through the flow chart that I have in my head right now, uh, a secret room would solve all the problems that basically I, I have with the shop right now which is that we don't necessarily have enough money to make it worthwhile. And if we lose all our, our bombs and we don't find one, no big deal. Okay, we did find one. Oh, uh, this is new. A donkey's jawbone. Oh, so it's like... a very strange mom's knife. Okay. This is freaking me out here a little bit. Why a donkey's jawbone? That's what I want to know. You know what? We're gonna go to, um, we didn't get any money, but we did get a donkey's jawbone. We'll see how much damage this ends up doing. Um, we'll, we'll go to our item room here. We got Brother Bobby. Let's reroll it. Let's have some fun. I immediately regret that decision. Alright, so the thing with donkey's jawbone, I, th has this been the shortest time from, like, what is that item to this is a one run in, in human history? Uh, I don't know, but... I don't know if it's as powerful as Mom's Knife. It does the same thing as Mom's Knife, but would they really add just like a second Mom's Knife into the game? It seems like people already think that Mom's Knife shows up too often. So I almost wonder if there's some other, uh, some other bonus associated with this that I don't know. And again, you know, we'll do the standard week of Community Remix style thing that I do, where uh, I'll go look at the item text after we finish the, the run, and I'll, I'll bring it up to you guys next time, assuming I don't forget. I am tempted to imagine that that was a pretty good first floor. Uh, it doesn't seem to maybe do quite as much damage. Like a lower damage mom's knife? Yeah. Like a much lower damage mom's knife. Alright, well this could be interesting. Maybe it does more damage if you're like, in melee range or something. It doesn't really seem so, does it? Oh, well now we can see how much damage it does. It still seems really good. But not nearly as good as like a just vanilla mom's knife. Which is actually nice. Uh, a, a weaker mom's knife is something that, uh, honestly, the game can probably benefit from. High Priestess. We only can use that. So we'll be looking to upgrade our damage. Hopefully this does synergize properly. I'm wondering if this is like an inside joke that maybe I'm just not privy to. Not that there's anything, you know, wrong with that. Come on. I Now, th this is actually, it strikes me as a pretty dangerous situation. You can see me taking a lot of damage. I'm so used to the amount of damage that Mom's Knife does that I feel like I'm going to end up taking so much more damage because I have this, like, perception of how much damage this should be doing. And when it does less... I'm gonna be uh, up shit creek without a paddle, you know? But it still seems very useful. Let's see what this pill is. We did take the luck foot for a reason. Range up. Uh, I'm gonna assume that that maybe makes this travel a little further. Can I ask a question about Donkey's Jawbone? Why wouldn't you throw it with the pointy part outwards? That seems like the, the right way to handle it. Uh, I'm just gonna high priestess this. Didn't quite, it didn't even come close to finishing the job. Holy crap, did it even land? I wanted to use this because I, I don't give a shit about little Chad. This is where another situation, 
where D20 would be useful. D12, sorry. D20 maybe as well, because we don't want the half red hearts from little Chad, but that's uh, that's for a later date. I think it might have a faster charge time than Mom's Knife. That might be something that's going on here. It's something that differentiates it a little bit beyond just having less damage. Not that there needs to be like an inherent balance there. That was bad damage on my part. Hmm. Weirdly enough, despite the early Mom's Knife facsimile, uh, this is shaping up to be the hardest run we've had so far. Mind you, it is only the third floor. Oh, that's a weird half-heart combination here. I like it. I like it a lot, but it is unusual. I'm assuming we still can't reroll that, so... We'll probably just end up using our reroll someplace else, assuming we actually get another key on this level. Alright, very interesting item. This is the item that we've gotten in the game so far in Community Remix that's unique to Community Remix. <laughs> Why can't I speak today? Uh, community remix uh, that has that has changed the style of play for us the most. So it's interesting. Uh, bad damage, but we have that spirit heart eternal heart combo uh, that can help us out here. That's pretty much what we were going for. Yeah, it does seem to charge much faster. I'm gonna try to figure out how I can abuse that as best as I uh, possibly can in the future. Maybe like stop going for like one hit KOs and just start. Uh, you know, getting close enough, but not too close that I can spam shots in. Yeah, even just a, like a small tap gives you like mom's knife at half range. I've used mom's knife so much that this is like, you know, learning to drive your favorite car and then they, they changed it from a front wheel drive to a rear wheel drive or something. Uh, we'll go to our shop on this floor, as you might expect. But one thing's for sure, I would really love to get some awesome damage here because that would uh, compensate for the lower damage and we'd still have the higher rate of charge. I'm not gonna pick up a fetus item. Oh, that's a new one. Socks. The socks. Spike immunity. That's a cool item. I am super into that, and that's awesome, and we'll also be able to go to our item room. All right, uh, that, that strikes me as a super, super cool item. Uh, that's something I'd never considered, but I would love to see that in Rebirth as well, but it hasn't already been announced, and I'm just ignorant of the concept. Spelunker's hat, sure, it's fine. Helps us find second secret room, which is right here. Helps us find secret room as well. We don't have the map. We just found it last time. And we're out, out of consumables here, which I don't love, but that's okay. We'll pick up some more on the next floor, especially now that we can walk over spikes. I wonder if it makes us immune to blue spikes. I would have to suggest probably not, but we'll see. Now, we're not going to pick up little Chad, but we are going to pick up this. And that's basically an HP upgrade and a spirit heart. Half a spirit heart, at least, which is awesome. And it looks like our boss room is pretty much... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, it looks like our boss room is pretty much right here. It's not. That's my mistake. Okay. Well, we can't really do anything else, so we will just come over to what I assume is going to be the boss room over here. Alright. Your shots mean a lot more with, uh, with this item than they do with Mom's Knife. If you miss a shot with Mom's Knife, you just kill them on the next one. On this, you've got to hit them twice. It seems like every shot is maybe a little bit more meaningful. All right, pop out. We should be able to do that. But I'm really looking forward to hopefully having more damage in the future. Pop out, and okay, we can do this all day. They should have gotten the socks. Totally works. All right, that's super cool. Well, that's gonna, it, it's a bit of a, it, you know what? It kind of reminds me of an item like the magnet. It's probably not gonna be that useful, but it at least like seems super useful when you first get it. And it might, there are some situations where it will help, but I think the socks is probably an item that you would uh, re-roll, but I really love the concept of it. Like if there's a golden chest over spikes or something like that, or there's that, that room with the pills where, uh, you know, there's two pills and it's in kind of like a box structure, you can either walk over the spikes, or you can use like two bombs to get each of the pills, or to, to get uh, both of the pills. I'm having a little trouble uh, wrapping my head around Donkey's Jawbone here. I, uh... I promise you, I assure you, that if you're watching this, it's harder than it looks. It looks like you, you should just use it the same way you use Mom's Knife, but it's hard to get used to. Let's see what our deal with the devil, or sorry, let's see what our boss room holds for us. Hopefully a deal with the devil. And we can definitely get access to a uh, secret room. Both secret rooms. Probably no deal with the devil here because I've taken some damage. It's a bit scary here. I'm not really doing uh, enough damage to feel very safe. In fact, I'm, I'm feeling quite scared right now that maybe we'll actually die against Gertie. That doesn't make me feel very good. There's a fly trap behind Gertie right there that I wish I could hit. 
Maybe melee with Donkey's Jawbone does do more damage. Oh, come on. No, we're not going out like this. We're not going down like this. Even use a bomb. Oh. A bit scary. It's okay. I think we're going to get through it. The nubs scare me. Because they get... Oh, my God. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The nubs scare me because they can occasionally drop a, a, a full heart shot. Okay, we did it. I used my last bomb to do it. But I think you'd rather me do that than uh, than die. Jeez. Okay, that was quite scary. And we got HP, which I'm not going to F around with. We'll take it. Okay, that was a frightening moment for me there. It's Oh, I, I don't know why I tried to walk over there. I had a little bit of a John Travolta in Phenomenon type moment. Now, stay away from these guys. The one advantage I have with this over something like Mom's Knife is the range. So if I can just take these enemies out from afar, that would be a far from the worst way to do it. It's a different color champion, isn't it, than we have ever seen before? Awful damage, I'll admit. There we go. All pills are good. You hear that, kids? I'm a little nervous. Tears upgrade. Probably is useful for us. I, I mean, how am I going to hurt myself to get into that room? That's the question. Uh, if there's a fire or something, because we can't walk on the spikes. Well, they, we, we can. We can walk on the spikes. That's the problem. They don't hurt us. I would love to go to that, uh, to that boss trap room. Oh, man, this is... It's so disorienting. Like, in a way, I feel frustrated. I feel lied to. I'm like, why isn't this doing as much damage as it normally does? But it is. It's just the first time I've had it. This is, uh... It's very confusing. It's throwing me for a loop. I don't deal well with, with change sometimes, I guess. Let's, uh... Just not get hit by these guys, which would cause me to die. I think that what I'm used to is with Mom's Knife, you play a little bit more aggressively, you don't have to dodge as much, right? That's not working out very well for me here. Hopefully... Oh, well, now we can go to the, uh... The boss trap room for sure. And if there's HP or a damage upgrade in there, we'll totally take it. But for now, let's see what our... Uh, uh, that's extra bombs, which is actually very nice. That could end up being extraordinarily useful. We probably will end up re-rolling Remote Detonator, but I want to check out what's in our boss trap room first, just in case we want to re-roll that instead. Uh, we don't want to open that yet, just in case it gives us red hearts that stop us from being able to go to the boss trap room. Let's see what we got. It's not HP, so I'm going to re-roll it. It is HP, so I'm going to take it. Now, we're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> Don't die while fighting Monstro. You can only take, like, you know, three hits here without dying. We could easily do that. I'm so used to, like, oh, Monstro and Larry Jr. are here? That's, like, one hit each. No, 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 no. Very different, uh, very different kind of value here. That's damage, but I don't feel too bad about it because, uh, they spawned right on top of me. I should have probably known. Whatever. Larry Jr. is a, still a pushover because of the piercing shot ability here. Too easy. And a pill. Full health, please God. Friends till the end. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Nice little sentiment there. Uh, red hearts or eternal hearts? We'll use one cent on this fortune teller. That's actually really good. <laughs> so let's get some keys back this way. Eh, well, it basically worked. Didn't it? We got our bomb back as well. Uh, let's check out this chest right here. Really don't want to die. What? Don't talk. Don't talk about it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's get our flies killed first, I guess. Um, before they ruin my whole bomb situation and cause me to have no HP. This is only the caves, too. This isn't even the catacombs. Just, just relax. Why would I dodge into that? Dodge, like, directly the F into it. Good. Okay. Buckle down. You haven't lost a game of Community Remix yet. Your your win percentage is at 100. This is very much not a one run. That Eternal Heart makes me feel a lot better about my life right now. So we're going to get one more reroll. Let's be honest. We're probably not going to get to use it on the shop. We might not even go to the shop, but we are going to go to the secret room. And if it contains, like, a dime and a nickel, then we can... Then we can talk about going to the shop. Okay. That's it. That was a good room. Don't get cocky. Don't start to think, oh, I've gotten used to this item. No, 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 no. You just relax. Just be cool. Put this down here. 
secret room. Contains not enough money to make the shop worthwhile, but now that we have so many keys, it kind of feels like that would be stupid not to at least visit. But what do we even want from it? That's a good question. I guess we want a bomb. It's not worth it. I'm content with this situation. Let's go uh, re-roll remote detonator. It's going to give us less than three. Oh, it gave us uh, the Halo of Flies, which is a nice little uh, suite of orbitals here. Not quite full suite, but good nonetheless. And we'll be moving on, and our, our situation's not fantastic here, you might be able to tell. Very disorienting kind of run. But that's okay, Necropolis scares the bejesus out of me. So, obviously we're really gonna hope that, um, you know, spike invulnerability carries over to these blue spikes. I doubt it, it doesn't, okay, that's what I was thinking. I was gonna say I doubt it will. Oh, we fucking lived. Mini mush. It's a speed upgrade. I think I have to take it right now. Um, if we end this run, I am going to upload it, but I'm going to be pretty salty about the fact that I suck. Um, we still want Flat Penny here, so how do we do this? Bait him out. Oh, what the? I don't know why I thought I could fly. I guess I'll die. Well, that was a. Uh... Okay, you know what? You just hold that thought here. I'm going to go look up Community Remix Donkey's Jawbone. So I got the wiki up here. Man, that is my comeuppance for loving Mom's Knife. Like Mom's Knife, you will have a jawbone that does eyes, that does plus one Isaac's damage and can be thrown over gaps, but a faster recharge than Mom's Knife. So that is like it doesn't even have a damage detriment compared to Mom's Knife? I'm just bad? That hurts. Um, well, as always, thanks for watching. I'm a little salty because I'm faulty, but hey, these are the Community Remix mods or Community Remix videos. I'm learning. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Fuck.